Aloha friends and welcome back to Aloha Jen's beauty blog. If you guys have been following me for the last couple of videos, you know that I have been utilizing this time to brush up on my education and learn about new things within the skincare world. And um, I have been learning some very interesting and cool things. Today I want to talk to you about something that has been buzzing amongst us skincare professionals. This has actually been buzzing for a little bit, but I'm hearing it more and more now. And um, I want to talk to you about what's called lazy skin syndrome. Yes, you heard me right, lazy skin. At a very early age, we're taught that we need to slather on heavy moisturizers, creams, balms, and oils on our skin, right? To help it, you know, look young and beautiful. Well, I'm here to tell you that too much of a good thing can actually be the opposite for your skin. By applying products that do all the work for us, such as thick moisturizers, oils and balms like coconut oil, uh, olive oil, sesame oil, those can actually make our skin become lax and complacent when you don't have dry skin. Only 10 to 15% of the population have genetically dry skin. The rest of us have dehydrated skin that we often mistake for dry skin. We all think that our skin needs this, but in most cases, our skin is capable of maintaining its own hydration levels. Over moisturizing our skin surface sends a signal to our water reservoirs to halt production. When this happens, the skin becomes sluggish and it actually lacks moisture, making us reach for those even heavier creams, oils, and balms, making the problem worse. Too heavy and occlusive textures can clog your pores and slow down the skin's natural surface renewal. So what are the signs of lazy skin syndrome. Yeah, it's uh, tightness. Well, these are the noticeable signs. Tightness, dryness, congestion, dullness, um, acne prone, reactive skin. You know, skin that appears tired and lackluster, well, that's because you have this layer of dead skin cells over your skin. And what happens is it stops refracting light. Um, and also what happens when you have lazy skin is that you get these little bumps that create texture in your skin. And those are those stud skin cells of building up. And I've seen people have it and they try everything to get rid of it. They'll exfoliate it like every day and they still have these bumps. Well, we need to give our skin a break sometimes, guys. Um, when you have healthy skin cell renewal, your skin has this lit from within glow. Now, I'm, you're probably asking me, how do you help your lazy skin produce its own moisture? Well, I'm going to introduce something to you called skin fasting. Skin fasting is where you go um, twice a week without applying any skincare or makeup. How easy is that, especially right now? Um, by skin fasting, your skin will feel healthy and moisturized when you wake up. You know, our skin is a very complex organ and it does a very good job at, you know, cleaning and balancing itself. And skin fasting, your skin will thank you for it, guys. I've tried this on my skin and I absolutely love it that I am going to be incorporating it at least once a week. Now, um, I don't know if you guys have ever, um, if you guys know Yasmin from Bella Aura Skincare, but I asked her what her secret was for her skin. She has the most gorgeous skin. Her skin is flawless and um, it's skin goals for me honestly. And she said that she incorporates skin fasting into her routine. She skin fasts twice a week and her philosophy is less is more. It's not about the amount of the products that we use, but it's the ingredients that we are using. And the Bella Aura Skin Care line is a beautiful skin care line. And you guys know it's like one of my 
favorite skincare lines. The products are bioavailable, which means they use ingredients that our skin recognizes and treats our skin at a cellular level. Instead of focusing on the epidermis, it goes in at a cellular level. Now, when you are skin fasting, there could be times where you might have dry patches or your skin becomes like really tight. And my answer to that would be to apply a hydration product like the Hydra Revive treatment. Now, you guys know that this is my holy grail hydration treatment. I love this. Um, it's amazing. So Hydra Revive uses an ingredient um, called Levon. Um, Levon is a polysaccharide. It's composed of fructose molecules um, <clears throat> with a terminal glucose residue. Um, Levon can consist of more than 100,000 molecules and it has a higher molecular weight than hy hyaluronic acid. So that's just a little bit of feedback on this. I just wrote that down really quick, but I am going to um, be getting into the science of, about the ingredients of um, Hydro Revive because this treatment serum is my favorite uh, hydration product because it doesn't use hyaluronic acid. So for me, I cannot use hyaluronic acid. And the reason for that is I live in an arid climate. It's dry here. If you're indoors a lot where there's heat and air conditioning, that's an arid climate too. And what happens is uh, when there's no moisture in the air, hyaluronic acid starts pooling from your skin. It pulls water from your skin, creating more dehydration. This product doesn't do that. This keeps your skin hydrated all the way around. I love this product so, so much. So that's what I use when I'm skin fasting. So I actually just recently did a four day skin fast. So what I did to do this is, what was it, Monday night, um, a couple weeks ago, before I went to bed, I just cleansed my skin and for four whole days, I did absolutely nothing to my skin. No cleansing, no moisturizer. Um, I did have to apply Hydra Revive a couple of times because I had a skin rash right here and I just applied a little bit to that area just to keep it hydrated. But can I just tell you, my skin was so happy that I did this. And ever since I did this four day skin fast, I don't have to use as much moisturizer. I can actually get away with just using the Hydra Revive treatment on my skin. That is it guys. So no more heavy bombs, oils, or creams for me. Um, what I've noticed that what heavy oils, bombs, and creams do to my skin is that they give me congestion guys. My pores fill up like you would not believe. And it's not blackheads, it's oils and they stay in there and it causes my pores to look larger. So what I'm going to be doing with my skin going forward is I am going to be incorporating um, skin fasting at least one day a week. Right now that I'm off from work, I don't have to wear makeup every day. I'm going to be you know, doing it twice a week and when I go back to work, um, if I don't have anything planned on um, Saturday, then I will skin fast. If I don't have anything planned on Sunday, I'm going to skin fast. I just loved the way that my skin looked after I did this and I wanna keep it going. So I suggest that you guys give it a try and let me know what your feedback is. That is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. We are going to be getting into some more education here and some science about products and ingredients. I hope that you have a wonderful day and stay healthy and safe, and I love you.